All right, let me get myself sorted. And there we go. So, um, more light. I had a, a question the other day, um, actually more than one suggestion, that I should make a little video about how I create the, the streaming overlays. Now, when I first started streaming, my streaming overlays were very basic and I tried various different softwares. So mainly, um, what I'm going to show you today are the basics. Yeah, and I'm not claiming to be any sort of expert at all. So let me just show you the sort of thing that I'm looking to, to make here. Um, so this one here is, for example, I, uh, one I created in about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. And because of the question that I got, um, the request was specifically about introducing the, the foundry cams into the um, overlay. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm actually using the, the three people up there speaking. <laughs> that's basically the foundry camera. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Yeah. Um, if you have uh, during the stream any questions or afterwards on, on YouTube, please drop them in the chat. I'm very interested to hear them. Leave your comments. Yeah. So I'm going to make a new scene from scratch. New scene. Call it new foundry. New foundry. Right. I start with a black screen. The first thing I will want to capture is my um, my little screen here in the background. Let me show you. So this is my basin game, and you can see I've got the foundry camera enabled and all shoved to the left rather than at the bottom. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to reformat them anyway, but this gives me a uh, the format of the, the map window that I want. I also have the chat window, and so if I want dice rollers to show, that's probably something I want. But I don't want them together like this. That's too boring. So let's make it a bit more exciting. Um, so I need to capture that window. That means I put a new source in. The source is here. And it's a window capture. I'll add that in. And I pick from a list. You know, usually you would have to say add new source, but I'm going to skip that step. As I said, this is just a concept rather than a step-by-step -step tutorial. So I now have this thing here. Yeah, that's basically a copy of the window, of my browser window, but within my streaming overlay. So by taking the Alt key and these little handles here at the top and bottom, I can basically trim this down. So for example, I don't want the navigation bar to show. I don't want the dice bar to show. Chat bar. I don't want the macro bar to show. So let's hide that. And I don't want the video here because I want to separate it out. So it's going to go to there. Yeah, so I've got a little square. The next thing I would want to do is I um, basically would want to have the cameras in. Now what I can do is I can just create lots of copies of this window and always just slice out one little camera. I'll show you how, how you would do that. I go to duplicate here, so right click on the scene, um, copy, paste reference. Now I've got a second window here. And if I wanted this to be my video, video only window, drag it out. It works exactly the same, by the way, if you had a, a different source, not like a Zoom window or Discord window or whatever, Google Meet. Uh, that would be, work exactly the same way. Video or where you get a, a unique URL for each camera, that would work a bit differently. But yeah, I could do it like, like this. So I've just got myself. And I could do that for each player. Yeah, um, nothing wrong with that. Um, but I found a slightly better way is actually doing this here. I created another sub scene, um, just called Foundry Cams, and it's got the whole bar in there. And basically, I just capture the window once within Streamlabs. This is Streamlabs, and um, then duplicate that. But essentially, it comes out to the same. Yeah. So if I wanted to do that, instead of doing another browser window up here, let's get rid of myself here you would um, go in and say, I want a scene. A scene, because I configured it as a scene. The underscore is always for nested scene. That's how I name them. And you can see which one do you want. Foundry comes. OK, add source. Adjust it. And of course, the other cameras would be above or below my camera. Yeah, so you would have to take, take different slices of the same window to get the effect. But yeah, I would then just cut it down to size.
Yeah, and that's that scene being called. I think performance-wise, this should be slightly better. But essentially, yeah, it looks the same. So control V, control C, control V, V, V. So there's a few more cameras. And there you go. Yeah, so I can grab the next one in the stack. Pull it over there. Grab the next one in the stack. Put it over there. Or I could have my players over on one side, and the GM on the other side. Make the GM a bit larger. Yeah, so that is now my combination of having Foundry there and having all the cameras. A bit much of me, I appreciate that. So the next thing I might want to do is having my little um, dice roller window. Actually, I might squeeze these cameras up a little bit more. If you wanted to put an overlay on and icons and have a different name display underneath the uh, around the frame or have another frame around all that is possible this is all possible but it's beyond the absolute basic steps so um let's say i want a dice roller window so again i go to my foundry window here Control c Control v have a duplicate there's the duplicate so you can see it's offset i can then grab the old handle again and just get one of these chat cards luckily they have the same height each one of them so get that down to one of them, the lowest one. So you always see the last roll on stream. That'll do. Yeah, make it a bit bigger. Or maybe put it there. Okay. So we have a functional overlay. It's not very pretty yet. So if I wanted a background image, um, no particular one. Yeah, I could just go to image. Let's see which ones I've loaded. I've got through the forest loaded. Basically, add new source instead. You give it a name that would take you to the uh, uh, Windows Explorer or similar. And then you would pick a picture from there. So add the source. Make it the right size. Now, the annoying thing here would be that it's covering everything I've just done. I don't want that. So instead, like in any graphics program, you can layer. You basically take it from here in the, in the sources list and put it right to the bottom. So it's now in the background, as a background should be. Um, you may want to have a little logo so people coming to the stream immediately know what game you're playing. Um, so I could do the same one again. I've got a, a one you might have seen it earlier, pre-configured. So the Vason logo. I think this is a logo I made myself at some point bit big, grab the edge, resize it to where you want it, put it there, that'll do. Right, um, and then of course you might want to have a chat window if you're live streaming on Twitch or similar and you want to interact with the audience, you can do that anyway, but if you want to show it later on in the stream or on the video, um, you would add here, again, this is Streamlabs, Prism Live Studio is the one I often use as well. OBS works pretty much the same. You go down here and say, I want a widget, and the widget I want is a chat box. Add source. Add source. Right, there's a chat box. Right. Make it as big or small as you want. You can always use the alt trick to... to stunted a little bit so you don't show as much but you can show it bigger oh i think i might have missed it there let's see it's a bit fiddly sometimes so if it's the same width for example yeah that won't show now because i'm not actually getting any chats from you guys um but let's let's try that actually if i put something in There you go. So it would look like that. Yeah? It pops up there. Test message. Um, so your audience would be There you go. So you get the messages come through. Right, you just would have to put another couple of pretty bits, frilly bits around it. Let's say I want to put a, a title for the session. I want to put my social media um, things on it for that I ha actually have a scene. Um, but let's say I want a session title over the top. And I'm going to call it Through the Forest. So, 
It's text. Session. Oh, I've got one already. Look at that. Session titles, Dark Sides. Yeah, but you can just do that um, manually. So you could say, okay, what does it look better? Does it look better at the bottom? And then if you don't want it to be disappearing behind something, just check the layering. Left, right alignment is always a little bit fiddly, but you get these tiny little pixel count numbers to allow you to center it. So, um, yeah, then out the top you could put something else. Or you could just take the whole foundry window and move it up a little bit to be in line with the others. Yeah, so, but that's basically how I do the overlays. And I don't typically use foundry myself for audiovisual, just because it's peer-to-peer -peer and I've had some some users, some some players who really struggle with that and then can't do anything, we can't hear them, and it lags. Um, that's why I end up using something like Zoom, which is not peer-to-peer -peer but server-based. Um, right. And that's basically the steps. So if you're interested in this sort of thing, if you want me to show more in-depth things, if you want to ask particular questions about the tools I'm using, leave me a comment, leave me a like, leave me a sub, always good. Um, and then I'm sure if I find time again, I can make a little video for you. But maybe just to finish off, I'm going to show you an overlay that I did for uh, the game. Which one shall we use? Um, let's use this one. Yeah, so this was Coriolis the Great Dark. And if you can see here, it's a bit fuller. I've done a lot more. So I've got the, the frames here. I've got a background picture. Um, the Google, <laughs> sorry, the Foundry window is now wrongly sized for this game, of course. But yeah, I've put the character icons on, styled it a bit. And then I've got lots of different scenes. So I've got a starting soon scene. And these transitions. And some of the, the artwork comes from uh, Streamlabs, where I've subscribed in the past so the live scene which i've shown you yeah um, then there's a b right back in case you have a little break in the middle of the game yeah this was a, a one shot um so we played four hours on this game so we needed a break and then uh thanks for watching that basically is a more elaborate version of everything i've just done but there's nothing really clever yeah, it takes a little time to get used to it, to, to grab some grips with it, especially also with the sound. Um, this is the third time I'm recording that on the second one. I used an old setup of um, Prism, an old scene, and still had sound filters in it, which messed up the sound. So that's why it was so rubbish last time. Yeah? Anyway, um, enough talking for now. I hope you find this useful. Let me know if you do. I'll see you soon. Bye.